Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay, so everything was pretty good, so I'm happy about that. All right, so there's another utility function. Let's, uh, let's try to color the boxes first. Because after the color, we will go ahead and check the game over and the reset thing. So let's try and do the coloring first. So to do the coloring, I'm going to have another function. And this will be in my util function. And what this function will be responsible to do is based on the input number. So if it's 2, return this particular color code. If it's 4, 8, 16, so so on. So we'll stop at 2048. You can even go beyond that if you want. But yeah, this is the color code. You just need to call the get colors, pass in the number, and that's it. You'll get the color code. That's it. Okay, so if I go into the app JSON, it's supposed to go in the block, right? So when I go in, when I'm in the block, let me see, where is the block here? So background color will be get colors and you pass in number. So colors, okay, it's not somehow auto importing, get colors and no, okay. It did tell me that these are the colors available to me, but it didn't import it for some reason. Okay, anyway, we'll import it. Get colors, okay. And you might see some colors now. Okay, great. This is looking pretty nice. If I go down, right, up, left. One more thing I would like to do is remove the zero. So I don't need a zero here. To delete, a, not delete, but to hide a zero, I, I can go to, it is a pretty long function, but this is okay. If number is not equal to zero, show a number or else show empty string. So if you show empty string, it would be nothing. You'll, sh uh, you'll see nothing here. So go down, go down, right, left, right, right. Okay, this is interesting I like it okay so that's pretty much oh why yeah this could be this is possible there's nothing that is gonna stop it okay so uh, I was I was a bit confused but anyway that's uh, let's go ahead and complete the task which we have right now so the next is check game over this is an interesting one because what happens here is whenever you are at a stage when you have a bunch of a uh, bunch of items on the grid in this place when do you the main question is when do you want to have a game over so you will have a game over every time when all the grids are filled at that stage you will check if there is a if any like any any four possibilities there are four possibilities right up right bottom left so any of these are possible if if it's possible the game is not over if not yes it's over so whenever you reach this stage so all the grids are full in this stage you check that there is a game over so to have a game over stage what we do here is we create we have pseudo class uh, pseudo shifts so which doesn't actually shift the grid or doesn't do that operation like for example not shift the grid but change the state this is the only thing which it doesn't do right so i can either do this thing that i can change this name to or i can just have a dummy dummy if dummy is true Or I can just have if no dummy if it's not a dummy one yes set state so this is pretty much it I would like to do in here if dummy if not dummy what I did in my code was that I created another separate function which was called 
a sudo left sudo right which does exactly the same thing and it doesn't even set the state but we'll, we'll do this dummy if dummy if not dummy set the state there are a bunch of different ways to do it but I would like to go with this this is kind of a brute force way but yeah that's fine dummy I'll have if not dummy set state or else just return mm. yeah let's do this as if, if dummy if not dummy I do a set state else I'll just because I would like to okay I need to do a little bit of modification because for that case scenario I need to return the new array so return new array right so I'm going to change the code which I had if dummy return or else set state dummy return okay so where is it here I'm going to copy and paste for all the four functions so new array this is good swipe down it's supposed to be B so B you can you can change the naming conventions but B is not a good naming convention so B and yep that's it okay so handle key down this is okay um, uh, this is working good and what I need to do here is that let me go ahead and copy and paste the check game over code okay so this is it looks long but there are a bunch of console logs in there so you don't need to worry about this one and there's one more thing to it hmm yeah I don't need to pass in the original because it's gonna take a deep copy so dummy oh I'll just have passing true and it's not sudo left it's shift left swipe left okay and check if game over this is good great I don't care at this moment because I'm going to take a deep copy of it so I thought that this does the deep copy and I think it does but for some reason it was not working uh, last night so deep clone or clone deep clone deep and here I will have data and swipe left check if both things are working data I'll, I'll tell you what exactly this is swipe down and true data data swipe right swipe oh what was that swipe up swipe up okay we don't need original we need true because the first one is a dummy one so it takes true or false so if it's dummy it's just going to return a data because why do we need to return a data because we are storing the data as a checker okay so original we are taking original and which we don't or do we need uh, we don't need original we don't need a deep clone because this swipe left already is doing deep clone for us so we don't need that and grid we don't need that checker 3 I think we don't need that console log data I'm going to have our data okay we don't need all these consoles data 
and yep that's it and check if game is over where are you going to do that you are going to do that when you add a new item to the grid so if there are attempts are more than 50 because there could be scenarios when you even this is not accurate there, there is a better way to do it but at least for now we have this grid check if game is over we don't really care about the data anymore because the functions are re reusable so if game over alert us with a game over or set the game over to true okay let's see how things go and it broke so what what happened line 331 so 331 and there is some issue with brackets so this is not the case here the bracket would be somewhere here I'm pretty sure about it this closes here do we have any other Okay, this one, this one, we just added it, right? Not this one, we added in the add comment. Uh, add, not comment, but add the item. So, this is, mm, this is okay because add grid. Oh, why is it having a, a new one? So, set game data okay we don't have these things so we don't care about it so this will work and it's just gonna give us an alert game over let's see let's try to complete the game so if I see if I write if I swipe I'm like trying to swipe right nothing is happening but if I swipe left things will go in place again if I swipe left as there were items there so now if I swipe left nothing should happen see I'm pressing left right yes so now if I go top, bottom, top, bottom, game is over, I guess. Oh no, because there is a 2-2. Two, 8-8-8-8-8. Two. Eight, 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 eight. Okay, up, down. And I think game is over. So we should we should have received the game over thing. So there is something which didn't happen in check if game over. So let's try and see again and what exactly happened in game over what is it okay check your game over you see you have a checker one which is swipe left so let's have a console console log checking game over and check down this do we see this somewhere let's see in the logs I don't think we saw that guy saw anywhere but yeah let's see clear the tab okay let's try to get that thing quicker okay so I think we We are supposed to see this game over, but we are not at this point because it's not even checking game over. And the reason could be, let's see, add number and add it as false. Attempts are zero. Attempt plus plus. If attempts are greater than 50, grateful is true. Let check if game over check game over yes that is correct if attempts are greater than 50 you are supposed to oh edit is true okay if grid is full is it because we have a grid no but at least grid is full is true it's it is changing to true then you go to game over check if game over so at least it should trigger our this function this guy so let me quickly take a look at what's going on here